This is the SS Starkweather and the Beagle. We're the friends and family of Loyola Recovery Foundation. Um, we service veterans who have drug and alcohol problems, and our boat is dedicated to one of our own whose um, husband is serving in Afghanistan currently. Her name is Mary Starkweather, and her husband is Brian. Now, the Starkweather has Maria Anderson on it, and then the Beagle is Kyle, Kyle, Jimmy, Danielle, and Matt. And the Starkweather, I love this. They've got uh, Uncle Sam actually does wave. You can watch him waving there. And this, of course, is dedicated to a stark weather who is over in Afghanistan as we speak. This is called the Beagle. It's after um, the Darwin's boat that it came over on. So we got the little Darwin fish right here of evolution. We're just supporting science. And that's pretty much it. I have to say, one of the best paint jobs that I've seen all day today. Of the three elements you can use in the regatta, which is cardboard, duct tape, and the paint, and they did a great job with it. Yeah, it does take a lot of duct tape, especially to keep things waterproof. And I, when I was walking around talking to some of the boaters earlier in the day, we went anywhere from five rolls with the Corny's Creation to about 50 to 75 on some of the larger boats. So that's wow. a lot of duct tape. So this is no cheap feat to actually be a part of the cardboard boat regatta. If you imagine buying 75 rolls of duct tape. And the Beagle here looking not very beagle but certainly pretty waterproof. Well, the Beagle is going to make it through the finish line with absolutely no problems whatsoever. A, a, a very good design, very classic design for a boat. And the Starkweather, I don't know that they were so much in it for speed, but they were definitely in it for a great show of pride. And as we get closer and closer now to the 4th of July weekend, that's a great thing. The Tickle Me... I love the touch of the uh, rocking chairs, and I must say the rocking chairs are potty chairs, so may, perhaps that might come in handy later on if they're in the water for a while. I know I could use one. The Tickle Me is Jacob Friedman. And in and around her hull again, a massive boat just loading up with participants. With Captain Matt Miller here. This boat you had last year, didn't you? It's the uh, same design, a little bit bigger, to accommodate the uh, party-esque theme, so uh, we're going to have some fun. How long did it take you guys to build it? We started on Monday night and just built it after work. Just had some fun doing it. And they are in it for speed. Do you see how they just take off so quickly? And they also took their shirts off, so that might have something to do with the speed as well. No wind resistance, perhaps? I know people run quickly from me when I take my shirt off, so that is a true statement. In and around her hull again, so many people on board, you have a massive amount of thrust. However, uh, you'll notice crooked. navigational errors here could oh, cause dear. them problems. Oh, we have a mass of boats here on the oh. back stretch. The Redneck Yacht Club is coming back as the other boats are coming through. Yeah, the Redneck Yacht Club here is just going to cause bedlam and, and, and terrible problems for everyone trying to come through. No one knows where to go. This is absolute mayhem and bedlam. Yeah, tickle me. How'd you come up with that name? Well, this person who designed it, <laughs> Mike, well, he, Mike, Mike Wise. Yeah, he built the boat and he designed it because he'd always tickle his grandchildren and children and and it's the name of a, a congressman who always tickle people. It's a lot of congestion. It's like being on the highway in New York City. Although, mm. look at what the Tickle Me is doing. They're attempting to go on the outside here, although they've been cut off now oh by dear. in and around her hall again. This They're is going to try to make a pass on the outside, I think. Truly become an issue. And you'll notice the, the carpet rolls. They may not look pretty, but hey, they help keep it afloat. Tickle Me looks like they are also using some carpet tube rolls. And they are looking very seaworthy. All ages on that boat. And the in and around her hull again has made it through the course with absolutely no problems. And they're pretty excited, but trying to take out a pylon there, Scott. What I like about the Tickle Me is the front is so thin and flat. It really is going to make, uh, make it so you, there isn't any air catching them and preventing them from going further. It almost Perhaps. looks like you could put a fan on the back and make it one of those air boats that goes through the swamps. Not at work, which is almost too obvious for the day. They're here. And the another beagle, this would be the Not at Work and the Beagle 2, we'll call it. And the HSSC is for the Humane Society of Schuyler County, thus that big floating dog. And this one does look like a beagle, Scott. This one's a little bit more beagle-esque. Uh, this boat's for uh, Schuyler County Humane Society. Uh, we do one every year. There, it's always been a cat in the past. This year we switched it to a dog. It's actually the same boat we ran last year. It was built well enough to hold up, go in the barn, and come back out this year. So we're hoping to do it again. Well, this makes sense. And this is Wade Whitaker. You also see Caitlin Whitaker and Kristen Whitaker on the HSSC Beagle. Now, for not at work, look for Captain Lori Wirt. And she's got quite the crew rowing with her as well. I wonder if that flame ball on the front helps propel them forward. What do you mean your boat's not working? Um, we work for an agency um, 
for people that work with disabilities. We help people with disabilities find employment, so we're here and if people aren't working, they can come see us. Another great paint job. Some people will take a lot of work and effort as far as the painting aspect of it. That's You'll notice the are not working. I see that. And as you can see, we've lost some of our crowd with the rain, but they are starting to come back now that that rainstorm just blew on through. It seems that it's actually gotten more humid now that we've had the rain, which is yeah. very typical here in upstate New York. And here comes the SS Starkweather making its way back around the course. Boy, that boat really is holding up well. The HSSC Beagle. Uh, a little bit behind, but you know, it's a great design and a good boat and for a great cause. And then they're, they're not far behind that not working boat, which is actually working pretty hard here to get it to the finish. Yeah, some credit is uh, due there. Oh, the Beagle making a oh, quick come up that. on this. Oh, oh this is tight. I, I don't think it's... No, it, unfortunately, no, they're not going to be able to make room. it at the end there, but a great effort nonetheless. And, and we have a bit a of a backup cause. here with the boats trying to get out. Now you're going to notice next here the village people getting ready to load in. That boat looks a little scary just yes. going in the water, Scott. I'm not sure about that one. I'm with you on that. And then a returning favorite, the General C3. Of course, that's a representation of the famous television show from many years ago, uh, Dukes of Hazard. And they have their helmets on, so they're they're well protected. Safety first. You'll see Mike Everanian on here, also Rich Hamula, Jeremy Hogan, a couple people on the General C. They built oh. their boat, they said, in two days. You are kidding me. That's amazing construction. This other boat, mm -hmm. I would believe about two hours, but we'll see what happens. Oh, they're pretty confident here, the General C. Oh, yeah, they've been doing it for years. That is a car on water there. What a paint job on the General C to match that color. Just awesome. Well, this is a General C3. Uh, me and the friends from uh, Twin Tiers Young Professionals have been doing this for a couple of years. And uh, we've expanded it this year and added a few other friends. And we've got a nice eight-man boat. We're uh, quite proud of the General C3. They're still going, the village people. Now, you can see they didn't quite go for the beautiful paint and the no. beautiful full of duct tape, but they're still I believe that's the hobo design. That, that was the hobo design for the village people there. But, you know, it worked. So far. Kinda. <laughs> Okay, the General C really looking confident here. That was, I think that was they're, the start of a wave, perhaps. Right, I think they're just chilling and relaxing because they know that they've won this heat. Chillaxing, as they say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can see the uh, the village people way in the back there. General C looking back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're way back there. I'm putting my oar down. Oh, oh I see. Okay, a little timeout. Celebration. Right, you got to cheers. Well, it's a good thing they have storage for that. Oh, oh no. Oh, the village people's lost it. Oh, that's lost you know. it on that straight away. Yeah. Let's see. Those if boys are to... not in the Navy anymore. No, no, no. Perhaps if they had the costumes. It should have been their good luck charm. You might notice a couple familiar faces on the General C. Rich Hamula, who is an art teacher for the Horsehead School District. Mike Evranian works for Watkins Glen International. Jeremy Hogan owns his own. Uh, oh, and they turned that car over. Ooh. Yeah, that was a, a nasty uh, wipeout of the General C there at the end. Okay, here we have the big cheese. This is from the Finger Lakes Cheese Company. They actually make cheese. They're up uh, kind of between Hector and Trumansburg. And this is Baby on board. Now, you may recognize Red here with a pink bow. Well, he's one of the many with pink, pink bow in his hair. But we've had Red before for many years. Red and his family rowing away. And this year's theme is Baby on board because not only do they have a baby in the back seat here, but we have a woman uh, with child on board. Now, I checked. She's just 20 weeks along, so we should be pretty safe here for the race. Is this a new boat this year? Yes. Yeah, we built it this year. Last year's made it two years, similar design, except for only eight, uh, eight people were in it. This year we went bigger for 10. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you were the champion last year. Is that correct? Yeah, we had the fastest time for single haul multi-person. I think you're going to do it again this year. I'll just be happy we make it. <laughs> That's Finger Lakes Farmstead Cheese, and they, they do make big wedges like that, so they're not kidding around. And the wedge is a design that's come back a few times. One year we actually had a big, you know the, how cheese can come in a roll? Oh, yeah, you know, those are hard to go forward yeah. on, yeah. We had a circle boat Not a good year. design there. And they are also armed with weapons in case they need it. I believe that would be a stick of Limburger. <laughs> Take note of baby on board of the gentleman with the red hair who was wearing a bow in his hair. I thought that was cute. It must be, I'm, I'm guessing maybe we're expecting a girl. That's just a guess. I'm thinking you're right. This is how to get the word out, as opposed to Facebook, just tell everybody at the cardboard. There you go. Gone. 
Oh, we got the cardboard cheese bowl here from the Finger Lake Farmstead Cheese Company, and we're going to try to make it flow. You guys have wonderful cheese. Well, thank you very much. We try. Finger Lakes Farmstead Cheese looks like they could use a little snack right about now. They're slowing down as they're heading down the back stretch. Now as we're going through the finish line here with Baby on board, Red LaPierre is uh, the guy with the red hair here. As we found out, I think, today that we're, they're having a girl. I'm, I'm guessing that's what that means. Age cheese through the finish lines now. They did not get bound up through the road. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, the saloon boat out of Horseheads, Jake's Saloon. Now, they've been here before as well, that 38 LPF. Uh, they're already looking a little teetery. And also Katie's Pretzels. Mike Sutter be one of our starters here, having a hard time holding them up to get them started. Oh, oh. And let's just hope that pretzel stays dry to the end because, boy, I hate soggy pretzels. That's the truth. Oh, and they're over oh. before they even start. Let's Jake see what Saloon they... Jake Saloon has uh, done a snap roll without even getting off the starting line. All right, so they've lost some pieces and parts. Maybe that'll help. I'm thinking maybe Jake Saloon should get rid of a couple members before they continue on. That, let's see what they strategize here before they restart. Yeah, Katie's pretzels certainly not being twisted up in any knots here as they're moving through the regatta with no problems, although it looks like Jake Saloon... Uh, Attempting to do a wicked bailout of water there by turning the boat right upside down. Uh, it's just my first year doing it, and my aunt has uh, Katie's pretzel stand here, so we wanted to do it to support her too. And we got 20 rolls of duct tape, and it all is is cylinders and duct tape. Now you see the Jake Saloon does have an alternate message. They're uh, supporting breast cancer research with their pink boat here. I'm told that was not the guy's idea. <laughs> by the way, to get a nice adult beverage, Jake Saloon is in Hanover Square in Horsehead. There you go. That pretzel's looking pretty good. Katie's pretzel was also, is also down on the food court today selling uh, pretzels. So, you know, if that pretzel makes you hungry, head on down to the food court. 14 years ago, out of 17 years of cardboard boat we're going We were over here in the uh, restaurant, and uh, we didn't really know the name for our boat. We had about 10 minutes to get it in. And me and a buddy that's not in the boat this year, Murphy, uh, both went to the bathroom at the same time, and we both looked down, and we decided, hey, there's the name of our boat. We looked down, and three-point liters per flush is in the top of the urinals over there, so it's been 3.8 LPF ever since. I wonder if they've changed the number of the urinals yet. No, they haven't. I, I make sure I check that. I bet every time you go, you check them, don't you? No, I don't check it. <laughs> and you know what? If they change it, I'm still going to leave it 3.8 LPF. That's right. LPF. We uh, definitely have to thank our title sponsor today, Watkins Glen International, the major sponsor here today for Big Fox and the nearly famous 17th Annual Cardboard Boat Regatta. Well, we definitely did lose some team members on Jake's Saloon, but that looks like a good thing because now they're moving right along. Jake's Saloon has certainly made up some time here. The boat is a little worse for wear, but coming through almost a turn two here. Almost. And the pretzels coming to the finish line. Now, this is one of those cases where a raft boat actually worked for them, Scott. Maybe it was that yeah. pretzel design. I wonder if that pretzel had some balance in the end there. Now, as you see Jake Saloon right there, it's LPF Jake Saloon. And LPF, the 3.8 LPF, stands for 3.8 liters per flush. And I think that's what they're collecting right now. They yeah. better book it to the finish line. There's some capsizing flushing action. They're going down and oh, oh, oh. Now, that's an interesting capsize. It kind of caved in on itself yeah, in the middle. That was a rough one there. Unfortunately, the Jake Saloon has been flushed. Oh, we have another love boat. Yes, we're up to the love boat, too, here. Now, this looks actually like a love boat, as opposed to the love boat. The Geneva Express launching with the love boat, too, right now. This is our 40... I wanted to go on a cruise for our 40th anniversary. So here I am. Yeah. He's so romantic. It's an amazing, amazing, isn't it? Yeah. What a guy. <laughs> is this an all-inclusive cruise? All-inclusive, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything, everything. He's yeah, from start no, to finish. No expense was yeah. spared. Exactly. I think I'll keep him. <laughs> it's they, the Aberhaldens, and it's their 40th anniversary, so they decided to build a cardboard boat and race in today's event to celebrate their 40th anniversary. And I'm not sure if that's her original veil, and I hope that's not the original cake, but let's see how their boat holds up. From Horse Edge, New York. We tried to come up with the name. We're not sure what we're going to come up with. And then finally we decided, let's go with the Geneva Express and try to go all the way down, all the way down the lake is what we tried to do. So we'll see if we can really do it or not. Is that for real? You're going to take the boat? No, off? no, no, we're not really. Gonna do that. How about the tiki bar? You're going to try to get. We're going to try to get to that was that was the major goal. Yeah. To get to the tiki bar. So that's it. 
And, of course, this Geneva Express, uh, Geneva, of course, located on the north end of Seneca Lake. So perhaps they're going to roll all the way home. What do you guys think? Uh, Possible. I'll tell you, though, another one of the pontoon designs that is holding up well. Now, look, they have a little corsage there. They've got the whole 40th anniversary thing going on. I just want to know where are the bridesmaids and the groomsmen. That's a good question.